Now, we are going to see now solutions for paper two. We are starting from number one there. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now this one, number one was coming from ratios. So let us see how we handle it. You can pause the video, treat these questions properly. It says, three students, Sarah, Jane, and Isma, shared money in the ratios that, respectively, Isma received the shillings that, how much money did they share? You know always to handle this number, we start by doing, we get what we call the total ratio. So our total ratio, we get the total ratio by summing all the ratios there. Basically, that will give me a 90. Now they are telling me that Isma received the shillings, this. So, if I know what Isma's ratio was over this times the amount, I will be getting this. I say, let X be the total amount. So, it means that now, if I get Isma's ratio, which is 9, so I will say now, 9 over the total ratio, then times the total, I will get what is my received. And so they are the only thing now is to make x the subject. So I will cross multiply this this side. So I'll be having nine x. Then I make this the subject. So my x will be now. And then you get your x here in. Shillings. So that will give me fifty-one thousand three hundred. So the meaning, this is the amount they share. So now from there we move to number two. It was about sets. Two sets A and B in a universal. In a universal that. As such that now here we start by summarizing the or extracting out the information. So now solution, they are giving us the number in the universal. 21. They're also giving us the number in A. And also they are giving us the number in the union, which is 16. In simple terms, you can do this by the by using a simple sketch. You can use this simple sketch here to get the information. You can do it without a sketch, you can do it with a sketch. If this is my A now, this will be my B, because this will be my universe, which is 21. Now they are telling us that finds A union B complement. Now, the all of this is the union, I meaning the complement is anything outside there. So A, A union B complement, this is the space there. So you see that number of A, we shall get the universal, now minus, now the union. From there, you see that my universal is 21, minus the union, which is 16, and this one basically gives me 5. So this is my part A. Then part B, you want me to get number of A complement intersection B. Now, A complement intersection B, we all know that this is going to be the space here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the union, then minus those members in A. That will be now, number of A. This will be now, my union is 16, minus the number in A, 14. I'll be getting these ones, which will be now 2. And so, as simple as that, so that's how we handle that question there. We come now to this one. Some people confused it as a vector number, some took them as lines. But now, to me, I'm going to consider them as lines because they're saying points M, N, A, and B are such that M, N is parallel to A, B, determine the value of Y. If I consider them as lines, you know that if AB is parallel to MN, it means that they are having the same gradient. So in simple terms, we say in our solution there, parallel lines 
I will say that now gradient of the line now AB is equaling to the grad of MN of that line there. So some people took them as vectors. So you can start this AB. We have now our point A, so I will say change in Y, which will be Y minus minus 3 over 4 minus 0 equaling 2. Now the gradient of MN, I will say 11 minus over 5 minus 1. Minus 1. So we simplify there. I will say this will be Y You could see that I can multiply through by 4. You multiply here by 4. You multiply here by 4. That denominator can go like this. You multiply here by 4. This one can go like that. Then I'll have equals 8. And from there you can see my y will be equal to a 5. So that's how I can easily obtain the value of y. So that's number 1, 2, and 3. We shall now proceed to number 4 up to 6. See you, but please don't forget to subscribe to the channel.